Tell me, do you bleed? Derek here of DH Cosplay here with uh, I guess part three of my series of videos on a couple of products I have from UD Replicas and part one I did the review of their Dawn of Justice boots as well as their gauntlets and part two I showed you how you can modify those gauntlets to make them uh, fit you a little better. I also want to address a concern from my last video where I talked about the mod that I do on the UD Replica gauntlets. Um, so brief overview if you've ever seen you know, my first review of these gauntlets um, you know they're very big gauntlets. They give you the Popeye effect that you really don't want um, with your suits. You want them to be a little bit more form-fitting. So I did a part two follow-up to my review of how I've seen other people do this mod and how I modified my personal gauntlets uh, to make them just a little bit more form-fitting. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't 100% happy with the look of them. It, it look, It's fine. It's, it's really just me and my OCD. Um, no one's gonna see this part of my hand most of the time so it's not that noticeable most people probably wouldn't even pay any attention to it but for me I wasn't very happy with the look and I had a good friend of mine um, message me and say hey um, you know I think this mod is really good but I think it does kind of take away from the aesthetic of the gauntlets and you know what I absolutely agree so what I decided to do was completely gut the zipper um, I do have uh, this is a replacement zipper same exact one that was in here or at least yeah, I think it's pretty much the exact same zipper that came out of them. YKK separating jacket zipper. I'll include a link to those in the description below. As well as all the supplies that we are going to be using um, in this video. So, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about that in just a second. But, yeah, I completely go to the zipper, took it out, and I modified the gauntlets a little further. Um, and I'm going to have a professional seamstress um, uh, sew the zipper in. Um, but before she does, I wanted to show you what mods I did to the gauntlets. And... Um, I didn't record any of it because I was a little unsure myself on uh, how it was going to be done. So I really wanted to get very confident in it before I talked about it. I talked about it in front of you guys and I'm very uh, happy with how this looks so far. So, um, and this will give you an idea of what you need to do to your gauntlets to really give them a really professional look. So on the original gauntlets, there was a hem that uh, went right along both sides that the, the zipper was attached to uh, on the inside. And it was about, I'd say about a quarter inch wide. It was a, a pretty good seam allowance there. And basically what I did was I opened the gauntlets up. Opened the gauntlets up and you see where this leather kind of ends here. I peeled it back and um, traced along the stitching lines. Because uh, there's uh, underneath this leather is actually structure foam, which is pretty common. Uh, you'll find that in a lot of boots and stuff like that. So, But it had the structure foam in there and you can actually see the lines or the... You can actually see where the stitch work um, was done for that hemline. And I would just take my X-Acto knife and just run down that line, uh, taking out a quarter inch of material on each side. Um, and just simply rolled the leather back over and glued it down. I could probably glue it down a little bit more, but the reason I'm not too, uh, I'm not wanting to glue this down too, too much is because I am going to have someone sew this. I'd rather not mess up the machine by uh, putting a bunch of glue here. So what is the result of doing that? The result is whenever they put the zipper in, it's gonna look identical to um, how they look out of the factory. You're gonna have the zipper inside. You're not gonna see it from the outside. You're gonna have that nice, solid stitch work going down. It's gonna be very aesthetically pleasing, but they're gonna fit a lot better because you took away quite a bit of material. Like I said, you really wanna be conservative when you start cutting away gauntlets um, because every, you know, I'm taking out, I've taken out over half an inch because you gotta think about the seam allowance as well as the width of the zipper. So I didn't take away much, but if I took away a lot more, then these gauntlets won't zip over a muscle suit. So I would recommend you do some measurements, but that's what I did. I'll do a follow-up video whenever I get these guys back and show what they look like. Also, just a little fun thing I did. Um, this little wrist uh, closure here, um, I added a little resin piece from a set of hand wraps I had from John Cody Jenkins. Um, I took that resin piece off and glued it to the end uh, just to give it a little bit more of that uh, DOJ look. 
just a little thing I added in there. So, yeah, these are the gauntlets. I just wanted to make that little uh, remark there. I will be doing a follow-up video on that whenever I get the gauntlets and show you what they look like. It's going to look very, very cool. So now, the reason you're watching this video. Yeah, I, I'm going to be painting this extra pair of boots uh, because a couple of the suits that I do have black and blue variations, and I'm actually working on a suit that I'm very excited about that uh, I'm going to need some blue gear for, um, uh, specifically blue DOJ gear for. So I'm very excited about that. I actually painted a second pair of gauntlets. I wanted to, again, test this method. I didn't want to come up here and give anyone bad advice, but now that I've painted some gauntlets, some gloves, and a set of hand wraps that I had, um, as well as some fins. Um, I, I wanted to really make sure that I knew what I was doing before I make this video, and I'm still not even completely sure I know what I'm doing, but at least I know what I'm doing works. So that's what this video is. What I'm gonna be doing is taking these uh, beautiful Dawn of Justice boots and using some products by Angelus Paints. Uh, actually, I think it's Angelus Shoe Polish, whatever. And I'm basically gonna show you how, with the boots, you can make them go from this to this, and it's not, um, a really flimsy finish. I can sit here and rub on it and the paint is not going to wear off. You're actually going to be uh, dyeing the leather from what I understand. So it's going to be very fun. Um, we're going to be using uh, several different products. I'm going to show you exactly how to use them and walk you through the whole process of how to paint your boots. So let's get started. All right, so we're back at this crappy view again. Um, sorry, the lighting's not that great. None of the lighting is great in my videos, but especially in this case, it's more important that I see what's going on than you guys, but I'm gonna try to make it as good as possible. So these are the boots. Again, get you some nice close-ups of everything. Looking beautiful. We're gonna be painting these suckers in a really nice dark navy blue. I'll probably be repainting the uh, gold accents as well. Um, these kind of look blue in this lighting. Let me try to make some adjustments there. But anyway, so these are the boots. I'll show you some of the products you're going to need. First, you're going to need a leather prepper and deglazer. Um, then, of course, you're going to need the paint. And uh, then to finish off, you're going to need the acrylic uh, finisher. It's basically like a clear coat that goes over uh, to protect the finish and make sure that it doesn't buff off. Also, you're going to need a brush. You could probably get away with using a bigger brush, but this is what I have. Um, it's a nice brush, so I don't mind uh, using the smaller brush on this. And you're also going to need some paper towels. So first thing we want to do is prep the surface you really want to you don't want to skip this step and we're going to do this in sections too um, you really don't want to skip this step because again you don't want to constantly have to repaint this uh, you really don't want to uh, have to constantly repaint these things all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a prepper and a glazer and we're going to start here at the uh, base of the shoe and basically removing uh, the finish that's already on these boots so that the paint has something nice to adhere to all right, so what we want to do is get you a wet cloth here, or a paper towel. Apply a little bit of the deglazer. And uh, just rub it in a circular motion. if you can see a difference there but this is uh you, you definitely feel it taking some of that finish off of these boots uh, which is again exactly what you want when you are trying to paint these things you want a nice even surface all right so um, we gave this a few minutes to dry we are looking good so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying the first coat of the paint now when i painted the gauntlets one coat did uh, exactly what I needed to do. This is a much larger surface, so we'll have to kind of see, but uh, yeah, let's get to paint. And the biggest thing with this is take your time. You don't want to go too heavy and sloppy. You want to get a nice, even uh, coverage over the whole boot.
Hey guys, uh, just while you're sitting here watching me paint like a bunch of weirdos, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, um, but I do appreciate you guys watching this. Hey, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are going to be starting Bat Chat up in a couple of weeks, um, at least as of the recording of this video. Probably by the time you're watching this, I've already given up on Bat Chat again, and we'll probably be working on yet another reboot of it, but at least as of the recording of this video, um, we are planning on starting Bat Chat up uh, here in the next couple of weeks. I'm just waiting on some equipment to come in. Um, it's going to be a little different than it's been in the past. Um, what we're going to be doing is uh, doing it as a live stream instead of uh, doing it uh, as an edited uh, vlog type thing. So I'll be doing it as a live stream, um, hopefully so you guys can join me. I'll be doing it on my Instagram, link will be in the description below for that, as well as here on YouTube. Um, John will be joining me uh, when he can, um, but he has a very busy schedule, so it might be something where uh, he might end up being more of like a very, 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 very special guest rather than one of the hosts of the show. But anyway, I hope you guys can join me. I am very excited to get started again. I can't wait to uh, get to talk with you guys every week because we are planning on trying to do this every single week. Um, and so uh, definitely be checking my Instagram and uh, be keeping an eye on the channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff so you know every time I go live. Now let's get back to painting. We're gonna have to speed this process up. All right, hyperspeed in three, two, one. All right, so these are the boots now. They have a beautiful navy blue color and we really like the way this looks. We want them to stay that way, so what we're gonna do now is apply the acrylic finisher to these boots. Now there's a bunch of ways you can do it. You can watch my dogs fight. Let's stop that. Watch my dogs fight in the background. What we're gonna be doing is taking a rag and applying this finish to the entire boot just to seal in this finish. And uh, yeah, here we go. So the boot is done, the clear coat has been applied, this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. And the great thing is this paint is not going anywhere, now that a protective finish has been applied, it is there to stay. But what I want to do now is the mod I did to the other boots, um, I really like for if I've got like gold or blue components um, in my suit, I like them to match as much as possible. So what I do is anything I have that's gold, I paint with this Lumiere. Uh, old brass you saw me use that in my gauntlet video and I'm going to be using it today to paint the toe and show you how to do that today most of you guys can figure that out but for the heck of it might as well go ahead and record where did my other brush go all right done I just finished uh, painting and clear coating the other uh, set of boots so we are good to go are you ready to see these things so this is the finished product why don't I show you both of them we, we did it to both of them so there you go. these are the finished products absolutely gorgeous um, again this is dark navy you're not going for baby blue this is a kind of a dark navy um, is what we're going for here and it turned out great. Um, I'll show you my reference um, 
uh, color that I was going for and I didn't really want to go too navy. I wanted it to be really, really dark. This is the material that um, I'm basing the color off of. I have a cape made out of this material as well. And as you can see, you're talking a dead on match. So I didn't want to go too navy on this. So I might even put a little bit of shoe polish on there just to darken them up a tad. But overall, these things look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, kind of back up a little bit more so you can just really take in how beautiful these boots are. I'm absolutely in love with the look. I'm so happy with how they turned out. It didn't take that long either. A couple hours uh, getting them painted. You really want to take your time with it. Really want to make sure you apply the paint, the clear coat, everything. And when you do, you're going to be, uh, find a product you're very happy with. This paint isn't going anywhere. It's not going to be rubbing off anytime soon. I'm going to sit here rubbing on the paint and nothing's not coming up. The clear coat's not coming up. It is beautiful. And uh, kind of do a little side by side with the black. And yeah, these things are looking fantastic. So, super happy with these. I am just, well, <laughs> happy with these too, but super happy with how these things turned out. They're absolutely gorgeous. Very excited to use them. I'll probably use these for my Hush suit, honestly, even though it's got the gold toe. I don't really care. These are just beautiful boots. They're going to look great with that and with uh, another suit that we'll be working on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this was uh, useful to you guys. Like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, I will be doing a follow-up video on the gauntlets whenever I get the uh, zipper installed. Probably sometime next week. I'm dropping them off tomorrow, but the seamstress is very busy, so I probably won't be able to do that video until next week. But I am very excited to show that to you because these are going to look absolutely awesome. I've got some really cool stuff coming down the pike. Um, John and I were talking today. He has got a bunch of stuff that he's going to be shipping me soon, and who knows, I might even do a, an unboxing video or something like that just to show you all the cool stuff I've got coming in. So, very, very excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.